Disclaimer. This review features a collectible item and it's for adult collectors ages 13 and up only. It is not intended for children. So if you are age 13 or below, please stop watching this video now. Thank you. Lydia here and welcome back to a new action figure review on my channel. Uh, today, as you can see, I'm doing a kind of vintage because, uh, I don't know, it's almost like almost 20 years uh, old spawn figurine here and uh, I got him this year, I don't know, around in February or something. Uh, from one of the toy stores. He was uh, just sitting there and <laughs> I just really fell in love with this figurine. Um, if you saw my New York Toy Fair uh, opinion video, uh, I was really excited about the relaunching of the Spawn series because until now I wasn't really like a fan or anything. I didn't really know anything about this but after I actually got this figure I really started to get like interested in the Spawn series and uh, yeah so I will probably start like um, collecting these vintage figurines or if new ones come out and I don't know we'll see what I can do <laughs> and what uh, uh, my wallet can afford but yeah I had to get this figurine because he is super awesome looking so <laughs> uh, first as usual I'm going to show you guys the box and after that I will unbox him and we'll see how cool this figure is. So starting off the whole package is one pla big plastic piece and as you can see it's one of those plastics that's like really <laughs> gives you a glare uh, but it looks good you get to see the the figurine inside really well and you get to see what you uh, are buying. One of those blister boxes that's like a hell to open which kind of fits the Spawn series, if you ask me. And here it says Spawn, and we have a awesome, awesome um, looking uh, art over there, in blue. Now, besides the huge figurine over here, here is also a picture of him. And it says, to see all our 2000 so this this uh, figurine was uh, released in 2003 uh, products go to uh, spawn.com and that says in different languages the same thing not sure if spawn.com still like works but I'm pretty sure it does since the franchise is it was just like on hiatus and not like completely dead if I'm correct but I may be wrong I'm not sure here it says Spawn Mutations, and this is series 23, uh, ages 13 and up, so this is no kid's toy, it's a adult uh, collectible item. And wow, there is a lot here in the back, although I think it's the same, uh, same in just different languages, yes, I am correct, so here is the English one. And you can pause and read that. It's pretty long. I'm not going to bother you guys with my uh, reading here. So you can just yes, pause and read. And down here too, you can pause and read. It's basically kind of like a backstory, I think, with Spawn. And here are the other figures that were uh, available in this series. They are really cool. This is Spawn itself in just uh, a different form. Uh, I really love uh, Malabolja. I hope I'm pronouncing uh, the name correctly. I really want that figure too. The others are pretty cool as well, but uh, if I had to choose from the other four, I would probably get this one because I don't know, I just really like it. I, overall, I bought this figure uh, first, and here is a full picture by the way. Oh, and if I haven't mentioned yet, this was made by McFarland Toys, of course. So, uh, I grabbed this figure because I really loved how it looked, and not because I knew anything about the series, but after this I have uh, started to uh, search a little bit and uh, 
you know get more info on the series and whatnot because uh, I started to get interested but yeah it looks really awesome and uh, yeah let's just grab him out of the box and see how cool and he I'm is. I'm back and as you can see I have unboxed Mr. Um, Spawn from another dimension I guess I can call it that because that's kind of basically the, the story of this figurine um, here and it is a really amazing uh, detailed heavy because it's really like a heavy figure uh, but I do have some little complaints which I will tell you now before I actually show you the figure up close well first and foremost my biggest complaint is probably the uh, the lack of articulation on this figurine because as I mentioned before this is an old figurine you know we are in 2020 uh, uh, now and uh, <laughs> it came out a long long time ago and it's understandable I get it but still it just I just can't help it it bugs me uh, I am a huge fan of super duper articulated figures because even though I mostly just display them in my cabinets or shelves sometimes I just like to I don't know uh, to take them in my hands and play around a bit with them take some photos or whatever and it's hard to do that when you have limited articulation now it is pretty nicely articulated it's not that bad but it's one of those uh, figures when if you don't have the for, ex for example the hand in the correct um, way positioned it kind of looks like looks weird looks off because the the details the textures on the skin or whatever don't really connect that way I don't know if, if it makes sense what I'm trying to uh, explain to here to you guys. Um, you will see you will be able to see that uh, up close when I uh, show you the figure's details. So yeah, that's one of my complaints. But if you are one of those uh, one of those um, collectors who likes to just simply display them, like they are some kind of statues or what, then it's just a perfectly awesome looking, uh, amazing figure, and I still love it. Don't get me wrong. It's just. This is one of the things that bugs me. The other thing that bugs me is that he is in, you can see this, uh, I'm not sure what to call it, this action pose, when uh, one of his legs is a little bit, the back of his uh, foot is like raised a bit, like that, like he's actually like stepping uh, uh, to the front and like, I don't know, roaring and whatever, so it's, it's kind of like... Uh, I don't know, it reminds me of like a dinosaur when it comes out from the bushes or something like that. And uh, it, uh, these action poses were like really a throwback to the old vintage figurines because those had this type of um, uh, poses when one of the feet was a little bit raised and they are stuck in this pose. That wouldn't be a problem if the top part of the figure, it's pretty huge I mean his legs are huge too but this front part has a lot of weight to it and that causes the figure to not be able to stand properly so as you can see if you play around with him you can kind of make him stand up but it's just a matter of, of uh, seconds or minutes and he will fall down again I don't know, uh, he should have come with a uh, stand, I guess you can probably find a stand because he has these holes uh, on the bottom of his feet, so if you wanted to, I guess, come off the camera focus please, uh, you can find probably a stand for him, uh, I, I think you just need to display him like leaning against something solid and that will help. But yeah, that's probably my biggest complaint of all of all of uh, about this figure because it just I don't know <laughs> it it just doesn't balance correctly and it it just gets annoying in my opinion. But otherwise, I will stop blabbering now about the the down part of this figure and we'll take a closer look at the details because those are awesome. Okay, so starting off. Uh the whole figure is kind of like a demon, I guess that's, that's what he was supposed to be. Um, and he is in this grey 
dark gray with some lighter gray parts and of course he has these uh, kind of like I don't know like bone uh, parts on him that are like right, uh, light uh, brownish brownish cream color really nice shading and whatnot and of course he has some awesome uh, red details as well like over here on the top of his head now as you can see he is in this awesome uh, open mouth position you cannot close his mouth so that's just stuck like that uh, and you know this is when the articulation would have come in handy because I think it would have been cool if you could actually uh, close his mouth but you can see a nice long tongue inside there and some awesome huge uh, light brown teeth his face looks again really really fearsome really cool uh, I really love the green eyes those are actually light green and fading into a darker green and it looks just all it adds to the whole uh, color scheme to this figure and it looks really awesome like really uh, catches your uh, eyes he has these awesome uh, horn like things on the back of his head with a lot of these little spikes and whatnot on it now a really awesome feature that they added and whenever it comes to like real actual like real chains on a figure you know that we are talking about like a adult collector figure because when it comes to chains uh, usually for on toys for kids like for example TMNT um, they usually use just like a s simple plastic uh, imitation and that does not like doesn't move doesn't have the gravity and whatnot so I really really appreciated that they used these awesome uh, super tiny super uh, cute <laughs> I guess I can call it uh, that cute uh, chains and as you can see those two of them start from the side of his face and they go down to um, to his chest I guess somewhere around where his kind of like where his uh, nipples <laughs> were supposed to be and they are hooked onto these uh, are these metal? I'm trying to figure it out if the little ring my camera would focus if this little ring is actually metal or just plastic but kind of feels like no it is actually plastic because I can actually like bend it but other uh, but it doesn't matter because it looks cool and there's also a chain that's starting from back of his head over here and goes underneath his chin to the other side now this is his chest let me just move it a little bit there we go so you can see that um, that sign or I'm not sure what to call it that iconic thing that iconic M I'm not sure if it's a is it a M letter uh, in light gray that's kind of like a icon thing to uh, for spawn I'm pretty sure that has a meaning but since I'm really new to this uh, whole franchise I am not aware of the meaning of that so if you know what it means then please leave a comment down below some awesome uh, details as you can see little nukes and crannies on his neck and uh, moving down to his legs I'm going to show you guys the legs first and after that I will move on to the arms so really nice uh, kind of looks like uh, some kind of armor or, or kind of like uh, some kind of reptile skin or something like that and it also has these uh, red lines kind of look like veins to me and the bone uh, bone structures on him that look really awesome he has two toes in the front and one in the back and one teeny tiny or actually two 
Oh, that's one and a little bit of more bone there. Uh, on the sides, oops, uh, the um, nails are the same color as the bone structures. This is how it looks from the side. Pretty cool, if you ask me. And this is the side of the leg, more of those red wine things. Uh, I'm not sure if this was supposed to be colored in red too. Kind of looks like it, so I guess they missed that. And this is the behind. Or maybe they didn't, because on this side it's not colored either, so I guess maybe that's just a regular gray, gray color or something. Uh, he has like a double tail. As you can see, this one is a bit longer with this claw like thing. And this is, as you can see, bendable, but it does not stay in uh, the position that you bend it, so it just goes back to the original position. And there is also this one, which looks kind of the same, all these bones and spikes on it. But this one is a little bit shorter than the other one, as you can see. And he also has these awesome, uh, again, spikes or spiky, thorny growth things on his back. Uh, two of these blade-shaped ones, one on each side and one of them in the back, or actually in the center of his back. This is how his back looks, really cool and uh, really awesome little red details, not sure what, kind of looks like, I don't know, brains or or, or something, and I don't know what, what that was supposed to be, but it looks uh, kind of disgusting actually, <laughs> but uh, really cool. He also has those bone things on the shoulders as well, as you can see over there. Now his arms are really muscular and huge and it has this I really love this uh, bone spike thing here it just has this swirly uh, design it looks pretty epic and uh, he has huge claws his hands are stuck in this like really creature-ish roar <laughs> uh, position he also has this interesting long growth of, uh, not sure again what that is, it kind of looks like his tail uh, from this hand. Uh, but he does not have one of those on this arm, so it's just on that one, which is cool. A uh, little diversity. And he also does not have the... He kind of moves a little stiff. Um, he does not have the bone uh, thing on this uh, uh, elbow, so again, pretty interesting. This arm is a little bit simple uh, compared to the other one. Nice swirly designs over there. So yeah, uh, pretty, pretty uh, nicely detailed, lovely figure in my opinion. Really, really cool if you are a spawn a spawn fan and uh, or. It just general if you like uh, uh, horror stuff or demons or whatever. I I I just really really loved how this figure look and I, the chains really really got to me. So that's why I actually bought it. Now uh, let's move on to the articulation. So talking about the articulation on this figure, he, as I said before, he is stuck in this action pose and he's stuck in this crouching position so you cannot move that uh, you have a limited articulation in the head or actually in the neck area but it goes down this far and about this far on this side so no up or down or so none of his articulation are actually on like on in ball joints so you can move them around um, his arms move from the shoulder a little bit to the sides too, but not too much. Same goes to the other side, but this one is a little bit stuck on mine. I have to heat it up. Now, uh, you also have that side movement in the 
elbow but again only to the sides and the same goes to the worst and that's about it over there bo on both both arms and you have a little side turn maybe you can actually kind of turn it all around in the no on this side so you can move it to that uh, that way only to this way in the um, waist which is a little bit weird in my opinion but you know you can move the legs as well but they don't move to the side so only just twisting them uh, no movement in the uh, knees and no movement in the feet either so yes stuck in this uh, position and uh, basically that's the articulation on this figure so pretty limited still cool but yeah pretty limited and what I was talking about earlier if you want to move uh, like the position of the of the let's say of the of the hand and you see that this is kind of like the normal uh, position of them and you can see that this um, line or texture or design or whatever you want to call it it's like continuous like this but if you move it like that it will look weird because this part doesn't go with this part so you know what I'm trying to say here and you know what I mean so if you move the original position of the arms or of the of the hands or like um, the elbows it just looks weird it doesn't fit that way so that's one of my complaints with these uh, old uh, type of figurines that it just messes up the whole uh, look of the texture of the figure and as you can see it, it just looks off and weird in my opinion maybe you can get away with it on this figure because he's kind of like a monster a demon uh, and you know he does not need to be perfect by the way another thing these <laughs> chains uh, keep getting stuck in his teeth in his mouth but that's uh, nothing really too serious uh, although you have to be careful because I'm pretty sure this could uh, this could get uh, ripped off or uh, you know broken if you are not paying uh, attention so be careful with uh, that but yeah that's my only complaint uh, about the position of the articulation and of course the as I said before it's not uh, as articulate as I, as I would love him to be but honestly otherwise really cool figure if you are a fan of span uh, spawn I'm pretty sure you already own it since as I said before it's an old figure it's my first ever spawn figure I am uh, pleased with it it could have been better but I am still really pleased with it I like it how he looks and he will look awesome with my other uh, horror uh, figurines because that's where I'm going to display him and uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for uh, this review of this retro or vintage uh, Spawn figure from the Spawn <laughs> universe. Uh, if you liked my review, uh, give me a thumbs up and comment down below what do you think of this figure. If you have it, uh, what's your complaints about it? Do you have the same um, problem with it that he just falls down? And uh, if you would like it, if the figure actually had more articulation. And what do you think of the whole spawn reboot thing happening? And uh, also, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more action figure and other kind of toy and door reviews on my channel. You can also go ahead and like my Facebook page. The link will appear down here, down here below. And you will get notifications over there whatever, whenever I upload something, even like kind of behind the scenes uh, pictures and stuff that I'm getting but not reviewing here on the channel if you are interested in that and uh, yeah just overall uh, a fun little page that I'm trying to uh, make it a little bit bloom <laughs> and uh, yeah thank you guys so much for watching and for your attention bye